Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. So this is going to be a reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Subscribers, thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I want to thank all of our members. I see you guys. I'm very grateful for every single bit of the support that you give us and the channel monthly. It really helps these videos to keep coming. So if you like them and would ever want to do a donation, a PayPal link will be in the description box or you can choose to become a member of the channel and join the beautiful Fishy family. All right, spirit, please bring in the most powerful confirmations, accurate predictions, and best advice for Pisces subscribers watching. Okay, one more because that wasn't good. <laughs> okay, Nine of Pentacles showing up as the first card here. I said Nine of Pentacles, but it's actually the Nine of Cups. So it could be, um, for some of you, that similar vibe as well. Um, Nine of Cups talks about how you may feel right now very proud of yourself, all right? You may feel accomplished, like you have your shit together. <laughs> you may feel like things are moving in a good direction overall. Hopeful. Celebratory as well. That could be sort of like the main energy. Since I said Nine of Pentacles, I would say that there could also be a sense of independence and financial abundance for some of you. Now in the challenge position, we've got the, um, they call it the Knave of Swords here. I tend to call it the Page of Swords. So what I'm seeing here is that In the recent past, you really took a stand against your lower frequencies, against perhaps your ego, against addictions, bad habits. It's like you really stood up to the darkness within you and you really overcame something massive or maybe you are in the process of overcoming that and it is incredibly powerful. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person, maybe some of you, who could represent a challenge at this time. Or there could be some kind of message, important news or message that could be um, threatening to maybe block your progress. But the challenge here is not really speaking much to me. This, though, the Seven of Wands, is what's really catching my attention. See how he is um, almost pushing down what seems kind of like a representation of a devil and really with all of his might and all of his strength overpowering that um, darkness. So taking a stance, not letting anyone stand in your way, being very determined. And in the current present moment, you have the Six of Swords. So maybe I think you're finding yourself in more and more spaces of equal give and take. Maybe now you have better friendships or better relationships. Maybe if it's about work, you're realizing that you are receiving um, a good reward for the work that you're doing. It starts to get a little bit more balanced here. But the Nine of Wands in the near future, gotta be careful Pisces, not to be someone who gets, let's say that you are really busy. Let's say that you are really like overwhelmed and exhausted and doing so much and just like really, doing an unhealthy job in taking care of yourself because you're so ambitious that you um, have maybe overcommitted to things, etc. 
Don't be that person that when the universe gives you the chance and tells you, all right, we're going to align things for you so you can rest, so you can take it easy. Don't be the person that says, oh my God, I have space. There's a little bit more time. What am I going to fill it with? And then fill it up with more commitments because you're ambitious. Because that then becomes a little bit of an addiction to exhaustion, an addiction to even denying joy and health and well-being in the name of chasing um, ambitious, <laughs> ambitious achievements, we could say. Because it seems here like the universe is aligning things for you so that you can have equal give and take, so you can have a balanced life. But some of you are going to take that newfound balanced life and unbalance it with a lot more to do or more pressure or more expectation or more commitments. And that's like literally the opposite of the point, Pisces. So how can you prevent that? Some of you have been very comfortable being in a very uncomfortable space and that has become your norm. Maybe you don't know what to do with yourself if you have a lot of time off or a long vacations, vacation. Maybe you don't know what to do with yourself if you have like a bunch of money. It's like maybe you feel a little bit out of sorts if you have all this energy because maybe you have been for decades you know, kind of like depleted. So I think that we should probably prevent this from happening. If we can, right? If this is you, and everything that I said resonates with you, and you feel like you have been depleted forever, <laughs> Um, check out the program that I'm offering in the description box below. There's a link over there. You're being represented right now with the Queen of Swords. So you are in a position of your life in which you are very smart and strategic, very logical, very... Gravi it's like you gravitate to things that actually make sense, right? Instead of following emotions that can lead you you know, anywhere, really. You could be a little bit harsh. Some of you may feel like, well, if you provoke me, you provoke me, and I'm going to say it as it is, and you're not going to like it, and I don't care. Because the Queen of Swords is very outspoken. She's um, or kind of bitchy, but, like, she's going to tell it as it is. You know, for good or for bad, it's like she's... She, she's not going to filter herself. She's gonna put, she's not going to put any makeup on or rose-colored glasses on things. She's just going to like blurt thing out, things out. So right now, maybe someone sees you in that light. In the environment, you've got Aries energy. Someone here is looking at you, but you're looking the other way. This is a very like masculine energy, someone who's very much in control of their lives. They're looking your way, but you are not looking their way. This is someone who has a lot of achievements as well. There's a lot of swords here. So I can see here that there is something that you want, Pisces, and there's a hope in you to go full speed ahead with something because it just feels right, because there's no um, obstacles visible, so you just want to like run, you know, go as fast as possible into maybe higher levels of commitments or achievements, as we mentioned here, right? But at the same time, there is present uh, fear, right? I probably shouldn't go as fast. Why should I go fast? Like, you may be feeling kind of confused in general, okay? And there could be this tendency of seeing the bad things. I don't feel like you're dealing with anything bad, but like, 
over focusing on spilled milk like anything that is not perfect magnifying that and then almost forgetting about the things that are perfect that could be a tendency that you may fall into at this time so um, that paired up with confusion exhaustion you know it is really a moment to think things through within yourself and really make the most out of the energy that you're in right now because you are in a balanced energy and you have done something incredible here in the recent past. You have seriously um, killed something in your life, an addiction, a bad habit, something really like with all of your might and all of your strength and the support from the divine, you are, you killed this devil. Some of you could be pregnant and very proud of being pregnant as well. Feeling very accomplished. But make sure that in the near future, I'm going to say it, don't sabotage things. The ways in which you can find yourselves, yourselves sabotaging something is... If you get the time and the space to do something pleasant, but you pack, pack it up with more responsibilities, almost to avoid having the time and space to enjoy, that could be a sabotage, okay? Um, going too fast can be a sabotage. Focusing on, I say the bad things, but it's kind of like, you would really need to like look hard to find anything remotely bad and then magnifying it. That could also be a sabotage here, all right? And there's no need. There is something here that the universe wants you to receive because you've earned it, because you yourself have overpowered and one over the darkness inside of you in some way. And now you deserve joy. But that joy may take you out of your comfort zone, you know? The same thing I said before, it's like if you have spent decades feeling crappy, like they give you the opportunity to not feel crappy, and yeah, of course you're gonna be excited, you're gonna be overjoyed, but it's gonna feel very strange because you have been in that place for so long that stepping out of that inevitably will represent change everywhere inside outside the whole thing and you see how this person is holding this mask that is scared look at how serene their expression is they're in complete peace but they have this mask mask that looks freaked out and they're so used to being freaked out because usually everything goes wrong or nothing ever works or whatever and they have it right there ready ready to put that over their face because they feel the need to almost but in truth there is serenity All right. Interesting reading. I This is the main card. The 7 of Wands is the main message here. Congratulate yourself cuz you have done something incredible. You have seriously like destroyed a devil energy inside of you. And that that should make you incredibly proud. All right, loves. I remind you I'm offering this um, four to six month one-on-one -on -one program with me in which we're going to be doing, it's, it's kind of like a rescue mission. <laughs> all the information will be in that first link in the description so you can really see what it's all about. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a program with me, you know, video calls and spell work and healing sessions and cleaning of your energies and the spaces in your life. It's a whole thing. So if you feel like you need to get out of that maybe dark place you haven't been able to get out of, um, I can help with that so you can check it out. 
and there is a sale on the website as well. Many of you um, have written to us like, hey, you know, I really want to buy the past life regression course, for example, but I'm gonna, I'd rather wait till a sale because I see that you do them all the time. Well, now's the time, okay? So you can check out everything on the website. Everything is super discounted. So if you've been thinking about it, the time is now. There is a tarot course to learn tarot if you find it very intriguing to know how cards can tell you things, right? Uh, it's very interesting. There's the Abundance Blueprint course to help you with your relationship with money and unblock or open those gates of abundance for money to be coming in more easily. We have the Past Life Regression course. We have a lot of meditations and um, subconscious pre-programming audios. So all of that, especially this year, I think it's going to really, really burst through any resistances or blocks that you may be having. So check that out. The time is now. That's a sale. And I think I will see you then in the next one, my loves. Um, yeah, I was going to show you the Pisces Club mug, but I don't have it around. I'll show you in the next one. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Bye.